Right, it's Clinton Gray here. Hope you're having a great afternoon. I'm going to do a several part series of tutorials dealing with the creation of, of routes in ViewRanger. So first things first, um, you're going to obviously have created a account with ViewRanger. The ViewRanger web address is www.viewranger.com. Go in there and create yourself an account. Once you've done that, this is obviously your front page that you'll see. And from there, you've got various options where you can change uh, your profile and various settings. And then also, I think crucial for this set of tutorials to work, you need to be able to manage your devices to see exactly what devices are linked to the specific account because once you create the routes uh, in the web-based interface they will need to synchronize to the device you're using so for the first tutorial we're going to create a route from scratch so let's open this up right okay so this is the route creation page now if you want to drag the mouse so left click and hold and then you can drag your your map left and right across to the right hand side you want to check you know which maps you're going to use so you select whichever suits your situation the best and then also you can determine uh, how you want to specify your route generation so whether it's automatic on foot bicycle or car so in the meantime we'll just switch that off so it then becomes an all manual situation and then across the top is various other titles. So we're going to get stuck in. I don't want to waste your time. You obviously came here for one reason, and that's to see how to work it from scratch. Right, so once you've selected the area that you want to start your route in, just click there. That will be your start. You can use the center mouse scroll wheel to scroll in and out. And then once you've set your start, you can then start to click along your route and so you go and and then if you want to zoom out and again zoom back in using your your center mo your scroll wheel and then you continue all right all along this route and i'm not going to carry on for much longer you get the idea so obviously here is the beginning where you can click to edit and put in some details as well as you can click to edit the end point. Now, at any point, if you want to move a, a point in between two mouse clicks, left click on the little square and you drag it down onto the root. So that's, that's it. It's really straightforward. And then obviously you can look at some root information. You can preview the root, a graph which gives you all of those. Now, if, let's say, for example, you don't like what you've started or you want to reset, you can go ahead and click reset and that deletes the graph that you've or the actual route that you've created so then what i would suggest is you just preview the route and let it do its thing it gives you let's just zoom that out and it obviously tells you the length of that uh, track that you've created and the difficulty that's obviously based on the terrain okay so let's just close that down okay then you go ahead and save it all right and you read the blab so it then tells you that it's being saved and it's ready for synchronizing so that's it basically that's the first tutorial on how to set up a route from scratch it's hell of a straightforward it's easy and i would suggest this is the the easiest way to create a route uh, we'll get to another tutorial where we do it on the phone but for now we're going to go through what we can do on the web-based interface which i believe is is the, the the really the simplest way to do it so that's it for today hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you've got any questions or you'd like to support the channel go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one keep safe bye bye for now